An event at Roswell Park honors the life and talents of a former patient who was also an employee at the Cancer Center. He touched a lot of lives and he fought a cancer battle of his own. And as Channel 2's Michael Wooten shows us, his memory lives on for all to see. Throughout Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center, and creating that really comforting space for patients, you'll find art, some 1,800 pieces on display. We have a comprehensive uh, studio based visual arts program. We make art and we show art. Not just for the beauty it brings, but also the role it can play. You know, when you get a cancer diagnosis, it's life changing in so many aspects. So we've had many patients find art or photography or painting as a great outlet. And one patient in particular. David Burnt wasn't just treated at Roswell, he worked there. A beloved member of the call center team, he helped guide others through a cancer diagnosis. He was a light and everybody who knew him knew that. David was also a talented photographer, his art playing a key role in his treatment. And it really speaks to the importance of art um, in the healing process. He found great refuge through the art of photography during his cancer journey. A journey that ended this past spring. After bravely battling cancer for six years, David passed away at just 31 years old. He was my colleague and my friend. Michelle Eisenstein and other colleagues at Roswell wanted to honor David, so a new exhibit features his work. Not only are we seeing the world through his eyes, but we've been invited into his mind, his heart, and ultimately his soul. Battling cancer as a young adult like David has its own challenges. Finding an escape like art can be key. You may not have control of the type of chemo or treatment that you have to go through, but you have control about your nutrition and how you move your body and how you have a mindset that's a little bit maybe more positive. And so you can use these outlets and these programs to really try to be well and thrive through your cancer journey. Tonight's exhibit debut is Roswell's first art event since the pandemic, though it's remained a focus throughout. It's important to be able to provide for all aspects of a person along that journey, whether it's medically, whether it's in terms of nutrition, or whether it's uh, creatively. And David's creativity is now up for all to see in a busy area between the hospital's main lobby and the Clinical Sciences Center, showcasing a special talent from someone we lost too soon with an important message for us all. It speaks to everyone on so many different levels. And through David's work, we can clearly see where his heart was. He saw the beauty in life so deeply. That's the power of the art. That's the power of his work. And you can feel the person that he was. If you happen to be at Roswell Park between now and the end of January, you can check out this exhibit. David's photos are also being auctioned with the money going to a fund through the Roswell Park Alliance. They're going to sponsor the candle lighting ceremony at the annual Tree of Hope celebration, which Dave loved so much. That fund will also help patients with financial hardship. You can donate through the Alliance's website. Scott Mary Allison, full disclosure, uh, Dave was a friend of mine. He's missed by so many people at Roswell and beyond, and this is really a great way to honor him. It certainly is. I mean, to be there on full display, you can really kind of feel the love and the words of all of those people who spoke so highly of him, Michael, and we're so sorry for your loss, mm -hmm. too. Thank you. And see his talent, which was just so oh, incredible. You're going to yeah. go check it out. Thanks. We will. Thank, Thank you. you.